Hey gang, well, it's me again, and uh, again in my favorite place in front of the camera, which I find quite daunting. But um, we do seem to have had some really great feedback from some of the stuff we've been talking about on the old man line ball and the old, um, you know, owning the inside of the field and things. But I just thought today what I'd really, really like to do is to touch on a subject that is very um, near my heart. And uh, that is the subject of sportsmanship on the actual um, polo field because this is a game now which is very different to a lot of other games. It's a game where amateurs are playing on the same field as professionals. And the professional game is a very intense game. Um, and to be honest, um, I played as a professional for many years, but I'm quite pleased in a way that um, I'm not playing in this era now um, as a professional because I think it's lost a lot of its um, sportsmanship with that. It's become so intense and about so much money and um, the sponsorship, etc., etc. And um, it, it's, uh, in, in, in my opinion, we've lost the meaning of sportsmanship in the sport we're playing. And I just wanted to touch on that and to get your viewpoints um, on, on that and to see if there's any kind of standout moments that you've um, participated in, that you've had happen to you on the field. Um, you know, just either a teammate behaving badly or a teammate doing some fantastic thing on the field that you remember. Because, you know, to be honest, I think that so often you sometimes win a game, but you've behaved in a way that it just leaves that niggly feeling inside of you. You've either shouted at somebody or you've done something bad on the field that you didn't own up to. Um, and it leaves that horrible niggly feeling inside of you. And I think it's like life, you know. Um, and I, I truly believe that that sportsmanship adds just that little extra factor back into playing this amazing game. And I just thought I would love to just share a couple of stories about some standout moments for me um, that have happened in my career and uh, also um, that, that have left great impressions on me in a good way, really. Um, and, and also stories, Rob and I were chatting the other night and I was telling him some of these things and we were discussing a, a little bit about sportsmanship. And he was telling me about a friend of his who'd been playing up in, in Johannesburg in a tournament up there. And uh, it was right at the end of the game and there was a, 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 the ball, a 60-yard penalty, and the shot was taken in extra time so that was the final play and the ball went you know was looked as if it had just missed the goals and they um actually couldn't have been an extra time sorry i'm getting that a bit muddled but then it was put on the back line to take the um knock-in and the guy that was going to take the knock-in um put his hand up and said guys i'm sorry that actually touched my stick um it's a safety 60. and wow so you play that, you lose the game, and nobody's got a word to say. You did the right thing. And those are the kind of things for me that are sort of standout moments for me where people are treating this game as it should be treated. I recall playing as a university student in our highest, uh, it was 22 gold at that point, and uh, playing in a in a final and i was given the the job of actually hitting the penalties which was quite daunting anyway and i hit a 60 yard penalty and in my opinion it went over the top of the goal post and the umpire and the ball boy both said hey goal and i turned to the umpire said over the top of the post so it, it's it's not a goal i'm sorry and um, one of my teammates rode out in a rage and said, it's up to the umpire, you leave it up to the umpire, don't you start. And I said, look, Doug, I'm, I'm very sorry, you know, um, I, in my heart, I know it's not a goal and I'm not accepting the goal. And um, those are the kind of things, you know, that 
leave an impression. But, uh, you know, I sound like I'm, I'm part of the choir and, and, and preaching to you guys. And to be honest, it, it, I've not always been that way. I've done some horrible things in my life. And I can remember back at school, in, in junior school, I wrote in somebody's book. And um, they tried for ages to find out who'd written in that book. And I never owned up to that, you know. And uh, that's been something that's really kind of been a negative thing that stayed. And when you think about the good things you've done, and when you think about the, the little cheats you've done that you weren't found out at and, and, and that kind of stuff, the good things take you upwards and onwards. And those little kind of dishonesties, they, they stay with you. And um, I just think that this game is worth more than that. You need to get out there and um, really be a sportsman and do the things that, that promote this game, that make it fun to play. Because they also go to the heart of the game. You know, I, I keep talking about um, playing as a team and then you find people um, playing in this team where they will not hit a backhand. And uh, they want to turn the ball. It's all about them. And there is no I in the spelling of team. So stop trying to make this, uh, the, the whole thing about I, I, I. It, it's about playing for the team. Um, so, so many things that lead back to that, you know. And this whole feeling of, of this no negative um, that I'm talking about, because we've been talking about man, line, ball, and some of that kind of stuff. And that no negative means that you've got a mindset of if a man's beaten you then hey well played mate you've got that play but I'm going to go to the next one and beat you on that because I can remember a, a really big game um, again a South African championships game where I'd beaten somebody and I was going for a neck shot goal and the guy foul hooked me and um, he thought it was really funny to be honest and in my mind, it just left such a, an indelible impression of how when you're beaten and you want to cheat to, to win, it leaves such a bad feeling in your, um, you know, such a bad feeling. And I, it, it made me think differently about the guy that had done it, you know, because I'd always respected him and looked up to him. And suddenly this happens and you see a different side of his character. So I really think that this game... Is, is almost like a mirror, you know, it, it's so part of life and it's, it's, it, it's, it's with everything that goes with it, it mirrors how you live your life. And I think it's sometimes quite a mirror that um, gets you to look inwards and have a good look at your core beliefs and to see whether your actions match your words and to really because if you are cheating on a sports field man look at what you're doing in life as well because I can guarantee you there'll be some stuff happening there that you're not happy about and that for me is this amazing game that it actually can change a mindset it can take you onwards and um, take you upwards in your life as well so be great to hear from you guys I'd love to hear some of your stories Love to see um, what has made indelible impressions on you. Um, the, the, you know, all of the, those stories are what make life. And, and I'd love to hear what you find important and what you think is, is good and sportsmanlike behavior and uh, what it means to you on the sports field. So do um, drop us a comment and, and let us know what you think. Enjoy chatting to you and I hope that this video is um, taken in the, in the way that it was meant.